What's up, my dudes? What's up, my dudes? If you guys can hear me, let me know that you can hear me and see me super quickly. Um, we're going to be on for about 20 minutes tonight, 20 minutes, quick Q&A uh, for anybody that has any questions on auto body projects they're working on right now. Thank you, Bill, for letting me know. Um, haven't been on for a few weeks. I've been traveling, been in Asia, been uh, uh, in Hawaii, and uh, it's been super, super busy. But I'm back, back in the shop. What's up? Let me know. Type in the chat, guys. Let me know where you're from. Type in the chat. Let me know where you're from. And if you're a VIP member, type in VIP, and I will say what's up for just one minute, and then we're going to do some live Q&A. All right, then I got to go. All right, so check this out. Engine is out. Took it out like a few days ago. Power wash the whole inside here. Now we're just going to paint it, uh, do the front suspension, and drop our brand new crate engine in. Here is our old and tired 283 that we took out. Uh, all right, so we got. What's up, Tony? What's up, Alex? Sada Mike. Nick, Wayne, Ray Ray, Mr. Vega, what's up? Alabama in the house, Los Angeles, VIP, Alex, Boston, Paul, VIP from Indiana, David, Lexington, North Carolina. God, who else is in here? Who else? Las Vegas, Victor, I see you, Victor. Richard, Iowa, Bill, North Bay, Ontario, Canada. The, the marijuana legalized Canada, VIP from Cedar, Minnesota, Oklahoma. What's up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, David Clark, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com, click contact, and open up a ticket, and support will help you get in. Just go to the, the uh, support center, and they will help you get back in. Queens, New York, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm doing well, everybody. Thank you for getting on. It's been a long time. Um, what kind of projects you working on? Any specific uh, questions you have on auto body? More than happy to help really quickly. I have to go out next week to buy some base coat. I might just order it online. I haven't decided yet, but I got to get some new base coats. I need, I need some silvers. Uh, we're going to start doing some demos on candy colors and stuff like that so uh, i have another where's my other door i got another door i got uh to do a demo on i got the purple door that you seen me paint here uh recently i just did did this remember on on the video that i uploaded i got all of my parts right here i got the 350 crate brand new radiator uh water pump uh i got everything for my 67 Chevelle build right here waiting for me. Here's the old and tired transmission power glide. Um, this is going to be rocking and rolling. I want to have the engine in uh, within the next couple of weeks and running it on the road before it starts getting cold, before it starts getting cold. So in about two months, within, within eight weeks. Uh, 2003 Chevrolet Silverado motorcycle CBR 600 in the in the works. Voodoo purple candy paint over black and silver. Okay, working on Tony. Want to paint but have no garage? Carport outdoor tent. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Carport and a tent is okay. Just make sure you. Make sure you hose the area off and you basically close in with a uh, uh, tarp as much as you can. And then you could have a fan blowing out to basically give yourself some, uh, some ventilation. Okay. So everybody wanted to know what the color code of that purple was. It's basically restoration shop and the name is Fire Mist Purple. Okay, you guys saw my last video I uploaded last week. Fire Mist Purple, okay, uh, UB2920, and this is the urethane base coat by Restoration Shop. 
nice base coat, pretty good product. I forgot how much I paid, maybe 30, 40 bucks, um, maybe 30 bucks for a quart. I, um, okay, Alex says, I'm sure you have answered this, but if you sand a single stage paint, can you base and clear over it? Yes, you can, 100%. Just make sure it's sanded really smooth and you can spray a base right on top of single stage. You're not going to have a problem. All right, if you want to prime it first, you can, but you, it, you don't have to. Hello, Eric, VIP 66 Bug Restoration, The Villages. What's up, Ray from Porterville? Um, okay, Jet Black base coat on a 350Z, New Orleans. What's up with the new spray guns? I don't know. What's up with the new spray guns? Okay, guys. So let's see. For all you newbies here, how many newbies here? First time on live, never been on before. Power brakes on the Chevy. Yes. I'm going to be putting a power booster. I actually got all of those parts today. Let me show you those parts. Um, basically got a whole disc brake conversion here. I got the rotors right here. Heavy ass freaking rotors. And I got my power booster right in here. AC Delco 11 inch power booster right here. I got all these parts coming in every day just for the build. It'll, it's going to be super nice when it's done. Uh, yeah, I just gave away an X27 to the brand new VIP member that came in about uh, two weeks ago, roughly, about a week and a half ago. So congratulations on that. Uh, oh, yeah, awesome. You got your X27, HVMP. Awesome, awesome. Yes, video getting choppy. All right, I'm here now. <clears throat> big rust, I'm not sure what to use. Uh, if you have a big rust area, what you could do is grind it down, right? Then you can treat it with vinegar water, 50-50 mixture. 50-50 mixture of vinegar water. You can even use navel jelly to kill the rust. And then you can, you can cut it out if you want to, or you can spot weld over it with sheet metal and basically patch it up, you know, weld it in and put your filler on top of it, straighten it out, and you're all good. I'm new. Mark is new. Haps124 is new. Working on a 66 Dodge Dart. Cra crappy job several years ago. Awesome. San Diego in the house. How do you paint under the hood without removing all the lines in electrical? Well, you could mask it up, but if you want to do it right, Take the hood off, take all the electrical off, and do it. I mean, that's the only way. You could even mask it, keep the hood on it, mask. You got to make sure you mask the car really well, or else you're going to get uh, overspray all over everything. Um, yeah, I got all the parts, and I also got a Turbo 400, not a Turbo 400, uh, 700R4 700 transmission. <clears throat> So I ended up ditching the 350 or the 400. I forgot which one I ordered. And I got a 700 R4. I already got the stall in it. But um, it's going to be nice. It's going to be tight. I can't wait to get it on the road. Fabian, what's up, Fabian? Congratulations, new VIP member. <clears throat> Can I use 20-year-old enamel paint? I don't know. Can you still mix it? Is it mixable? And if you have uh, the hardener, it'll probably work, but it's up to you. I would probably just go out and spend the hundred bucks and get a new new uh, gallon of paint. You know, why take the chance? Unless you want to mix a cup up and spray something and see how hard it is. If you're really pressed on cash and you need to use that, test a small panel out <clears throat> and um, see if it hardens. If it hardens, you're all good. All right, so for all you newbies, you guys can go here and download a free auto body and paint manual. Just put it in there. 
Mr. Vega says, will you be doing any motorcycle projects? Yes, actually, yes. I'll be doing motorcycle tank projects. Um, I don't know if you remember that motorcycle tank that I did a while back. I never finished it. I'm actually going to start all over with that process and um, finish my lamp projects. If you can see, I got this one as well. I want to do a lamp project on. I know I'm moving around a lot. I should stop moving. What's up, Art? I know you're new VIP. I see ya. I see ya, Art. Am I painting the Chevy that purple color? No, I am not. Um, I'm not sure what color I want to paint the Chevelle yet. Um, I know original. I know the, the butternut yellow will look nice, but I just have this devil on my shoulder telling me, just customize it, Tony. Just do what you want. You know, just make it a badass, a badass uh, color. <clears throat> Okay, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Tony, do you give an example on how to, how to blend? How to blend? Uh, yes, I do have videos on blending. Check out the blog, like I said, learnautobodyandpaint.com. I have a ton of videos on the, on the vlog there, so check that out as well, and articles. Um, how do you get clear coat to have a flat or satin look? Uh, there is a clear coat additive that you can, a flattening agent it's called, that you can buy. You mix it in your clear coat depending on how flat you want it, and it'll give you that satin or flat look uh, to your clear coat. Just look up clear coat flattener, flattening agent. Um, I haven't actually, you, I used, about five and a half years ago, I painted a black car with a satin like that, but I haven't really done anything like that in, in recent in recent times. So I would just look up a uh, clear coat flattening agent or clear coat flattening kit. Um, go black. Nah, no way. I would never do a black Chevelle. It's just too plain, too blah. I want something that'll pop. <clears throat> go back to original on the Chevy. Um, my name is Tony also, took auto body in college, collision painter 18 years, good thing you're doing and showing damn good bless to you. Thank you so much, Tribulation X. Um, Tony, I know you say that 400 grids are perfect uh, grid to paint over, then I hear you say in different video, final sound with six to 800, bit confused. Nope, I always say 400, some people like to go 600, four to 600. I never say 800 to paint over. Um, I say 1,000 if you're going to re-clear over it, but never 800. 800, I don't use 800. I barely, I, I don't even buy 800 paper. Uh, candy is an idea. Spraying this thing candy is an idea. I may consider doing like a cool candy paint job on it. We'll see. Um, yes, no problem. Uh, if your clear is dry and you can't keep a wet edge, what's the best way to do it? If your clear is dry and you can't keep a wet edge, what's the best way to do it? What do you mean? Are you saying during the spraying process or it's already dried? Give me some more info. What is a good gun on budget? Well, you should really check out Zula.com and check out the Atom spray guns. I think they are fantastic. Um, Tony, how do you get your book? Do you have a video on all your work and demonstration? Yes, John John. Just go to learnautobodyandpaint.com and check out VIP. Here's that link. I don't know if it's going to work, but you can try it. What else? What else? What else? Um, I hit my tailgate with a 1K primer after Bondo work. I wet sanded and painted the same day. Came back next day and my paint blistered. What happened? I used Nason, Nason base and Evercoat 2K clear. I don't know what happened, man. 
I didn't see your project. It's hard for me to tell you what happened just by reading a sentence on, on, on this chat here. I don't know. I, I need to see what happened. You know, I don't know. Maybe you had air in your Bondo work or in, in, your, in your filler. Maybe your, your, your filler was wet and when you primed it, you had that wet dampness in between that blistered. I don't know what happened. Um, I plan on painting silver masking, silver masking, then black, then inner coat flake over black, but not the silver. That is when I have trouble with even mills, then candy and clear, but how do I make it even? So you could use a 1500 grit paper after you do your basing and just basically scuff the area and flatten it out a little bit. You, don't go too much or else you're going to kind of mess up your paint. Uh, the, one, the other thing to do is just to load it on with two, three coats of clear, let it dry, block it, and then flow coat it with two, three coats of clear. Then you will be cool. All right, that's the way to do it. You just got to go multiple clear coats. What's up? Spray away. Looking forward to all the projects. Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the Chevelle done. I'm actually looking forward just to get the engine in and on the road. That's like the next step after the whole front conversion and all of that. What's up, Morgan? What's up, Mondo Mondo, Kenny G? Do they make a chrome paint? Absolutely, they do. How high is your, clear, your air pressure while clear coating? I like to spray at about 28 to 29 PSI on the gun gauge. Okay, not cap pressure. Um, at the gate, not your compressor pressure coming out. I have 85 to 90 in my line at all times. And then I got, I cut it down at my gun, uh, to about 28, 29 trigger pulled, 28, 29 trigger pulled. That's where you want to be when you're spraying clear coat, uh, 26, 27, uh, for base coat. When I spray clear, it looks like someone threw sand on it. It's very rough. What might cause this? Well, number one, make sure you're mixing your clear coat correctly, all right, with the correct hardeners in it, correct reducers in it, okay? And uh, because if it's too dry, you're going to get that, okay? If your spray gun sucks, you're going to get that. If your spray gun is caked up, you're going to get that. If you're not flowing out correctly, you're going to get that. Okay, so double, make sure your spray gun is clean. Okay, make sure you're running the correct tip size, 1.3, 1.4. My go-to tip size is 1.4 tip on base and clear. Okay, that's just me. Some of you might like the 1.3. You, you know, you test it. You test it out, see what you like. I just like the way it flows out of a 1.4 for everything I do. Clear coat on and base coat. Uh, Tony, thanks for all the advice. I restored an Acura Integra 1990. Came out so nice. Painted it Milano, Milano red. Awesome Juan Vaca. That's a badass name, man. Juan Vaca. Um, okay, guys. The questions are coming in like a mofo here. I'm like, I, I'm like, Oh, Sada Mike. Okay, I get what you're saying. Um, check your reducer. You probably have a fast reducer. Have a slow reducer, okay? Your paint's drying up too quick. It's too hot. Your booth, your shop, whatever it is, is too hot. Too hot in there, and that's what's going to happen. Too hot, you're going to get that. Um... What about painting it sublime green as you have a plum crazy transmission? <laughs> Kenny, not really. Spectrochrome looks really good. Um, paint biting. It happened to me when using 1K lacquer primer and painting right after with urethane without much curing time. That's the reason because you got lacquer primer. Lacquer primer, it's lacquer. It's going to do that to your, to your base coat. So I stopped using lacquer primer about 10 years ago. I used to use lacquer primer. Um, I use the can lacquer primer for quick touch-ups if I have to, 
last minute to cover like a metal spot or something, but I never use lacquer primer on like a, a panel. You know, it's just old school. It, it's, it's old, you know, I don't use it anymore. Uh, when flow coating, what do you final sand with? You could sand final sand with a thousand grit. Some people go 800. I feel 800 is too coarse. You can go 800 and then wash it down with a thousand grit. Get it to a thousand and then flow coat it. Tour 15 Angel, good. Yes, I'm ready to primer my 1995 Chevy. Um. What PSI should I set my air gun paint on primer? It depends on what tip you're using. If you're using a 1.8, 2.0 tip, you should be spraying primer at about 22 to 24 PSI. It's, it's more of a low pressure. You spray primer at a little lower pressure, sometimes like 20, 22 PSI, because you want it to come out thick and heavy and lay on. All right? Um... How can you get or can you get rid of tiger stripes on base? Absolutely. If you, if you didn't clear coat it, basically you want to drop coat it, turn up your pressure, bring up your spray gun, and just you can crisscross it. So if you're doing the hood this way, right, you can turn up the pressure a little bit and, and do your hood this way. Okay, do half the hood this way and then go around and pick it up. Pick it up on the other side and finish it off. All right, same thing with the fenders, the doors. If you're doing a heavy metallic, that's what you want to do before clearing anyway. You know, you want to make sure it looks good in the lighting before you lay your clear coat on. Hey, guys, we got 70 people on here and 11 likes. Like, am I doing something wrong? I think I, think I should just end the show, guys. Oh, God. What am I doing? What am I doing here? All right, guys, I got to go. I have to uh, tuck in my daughter uh, for bed. I got to tuck in my daughter for bed. Nice to see you on. I just want to say I'm back, back in the house. Um, <laughs> Alex, I'm back in the house. I'll be on weekly with updates. I will be updating you on the Chevelle project right here. I will be putting the motor in. Once the motor's in, once the engine and trans, once that's in, we're going to start doing the body work little by little after I enjoy it for about a couple of weeks or maybe two, three weeks just driving it around, you know, keeping it the patina style. Some people like the patina style, you know, and I think this car is going to look really good. I got all new shocks for it, gas air, sho air shocks for the back to lift the back up a little bit if I want to, um, new shocks for the front. I even got a stereo system with speakers. Oh, God. All right, guys. Thank you guys for getting on. I missed you all. It was great seeing you. Go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right here uh, to get your free book. If you're not VIP, check this offer out right now. Maybe if you want to, you could be a VIP member. Uh, will I be live next week? Yes, absolutely. It's been a while, Hank. It has been a while, man. I've been too busy. Busy traveling, I'm back, um, and just a lot of things going on. I hope you guys can understand that. And um, I will be back on next week, Thursday night, around this time. We're going to try to get back into the groove of the Thursday night crackdown. And I will see you all um, again. And if you guys are looking for awesome spray guns, don't forget to check out the Atom spray guns at zula.com they're the only guns i spray with right now thanks guys good to see you everybody um and i can't wait can't wait to start dropping the engine in this thing can't wait and no i didn't sell the lambo yet i'm still playing around with the lambo um <laughs> so i'll talk to you guys later have a great weekend have a great weekend and keep smiling peace out guys hit the like button before you leave and uh, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com to learn more. Have a good day, guys.